Welcome to the Content Couple Podcast. Short, casual conversations about self-help, self-improvement, health, change, and mindfulness. We are a couple with a shared passion for personal development and the pursuit of knowledge. We use our daily city commute to share with each other and you, our audience, what we have learned from audiobooks, podcasts, books, and other content. Join us as we step outside of our comfort zone and discuss what we found helpful in our quest to bring the best versions of ourselves to every day. Where we would prefer to be recording this from the beach. Please be aware we are recording this podcast in the car and you may hear the occasional sound of traffic or ashy cursing fellow commuters. Our hope is that you take away one thing after listening through this podcast that will help you with your own personal development journey. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first introductory episode of The Content Couple. My name is Matt, and I'm joined now by my beautiful fiance. My name is Ash. And this episode today, being our very first episode, is really about working out what what our podcast is about. Yeah. Creating a tagline and sharing with all of you answers to four important questions. Mm -hmm. Firstly, why are we, what are we trying to provide anyone that may choose to listen to this podcast at some point? Two, who is our audience? Three would be what, just to describe to you a little bit what you can expect every day or almost every day the format, length, the type of production, etc. that we're going, we're hoping to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, we're probably setting ourselves high and making this even remotely good, but let's see how we go. <laughs> and four is the big, the big W-H-Y. Yeah. <laughs> why are we, why is, why are Ash and I are choosing to create this podcast? So, um, without further ado, We'll, we'll launch into that, and I'll, I suppose I'll start by asking you, Ash. Like we've discussed earlier at length, what we, what we want to, what we want to provide by creating a podcast. But if you want to share a little, a little of that with the audience now, that'd be great. Sure. Well, um, both of us have one thing very highly in common. Not our only thing in common, but one thing that is very <laughs> much in common is that we are both crazy about researching all the ways that we can be the best versions of ourselves, be that mentally, spiritually, physically, um, and bring that best version of ourselves yeah. to the world. So, so so it's not just couple dressing? No, <laughs> although we do tend to couple dress a lot. Yeah, unconsciously. <laughs> so this podcast is about bringing together all of those things that we love to do in our spare time and all of the researching and reading and listening to podcasts and all of those things and I guess summarizing it or sharing it with the world in terms of what we found helpful, what we found interesting or what we've been able to apply to our own lives and found um, has worked for us. Yep. I'm I'm pretty excited to hear... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what what you the type of content that you digest ash the audiobooks yes. that you listen to yeah. the podcasts you may find interesting because really you know i know i i joked about this earlier but this i often think we we should have just changed you know our tagline to what ashy thinks <laughs> <laughs> but but that would but but I suppose I don't think that would really resonate with everybody. No. People are not going to find that it. if they don't know what you're about. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the types of things you think about. Yeah. The gold in that hamster wheel that is your mind. <laughs> yeah, it's always turning. Um, so I guess moving on to the next question is, can you describe for us, Matt, who you think might be our audience? Good question. People like us yes. would probably be the best way to describe our audience. But I, I suppose the people listening for the very first time and for us, I suppose, being in no man's land and recording for the very first time, 
Yeah. It's um, not only like that, I suppose that's difficult to articulate for us at these early stages and also for people to understand who we are. Mm -hmm. But if I was going to summarize this, which is what we're all about, having candid conversations that we, where we summarize what we've read, um, I would say that I hope that we are able to gather an audience besides our mums and friends. <laughs> that includes people that, like us, uh, have a, I suppose, a profound respect for knowledge and learning. Yeah. They have a respect for their health and their bodies, and I suppose the vessel they've been, they're on this earth to look after. Yes. Also, I suppose not just be not just something that's self-centered, um, and I don't mean that in a self-centered in a bad way. I mean we've we've all got to be self-centered to some degree to be effective in any other part of our lives. I think, but right. yeah. um, I think um, also being people like people like you and I, we we tend to read a lot of information and listen to podcasts, etc. Where, where we're trying to gain knowledge, tips, advice, actionable and useful stuff where, that we can use to not only improve ourselves but um, enhance our contribution and Im impact on the world. Yeah. Would, would you say that's a pretty good summary? Absolutely. I think it's definitely a podcast that will be useful for an audience who are looking for a place to start or are looking for um, a recommendation that they can then chase further down the rabbit hole if that's what they yeah. find interesting. Um, yeah. like it can be very overwhelming when you um, look at all the information that is out there depending on whatever topic it is. Um, with the age of the internet, there is just so much information. We're inundated every day. And I think that the audience we might attract are people who are looking for a bit of advice or a bit of guidance or a recommendation from like-minded people. Yeah. But I suppose something to just add to something that you said, which I think is very important, is that people need to understand that we can't create the rabbit hole for them. We can't show them to the rabbit hole. We can only tell them about it. Yeah. So we're not here to really give advice that, you know, on, on, what, on what individual <laughs> people should do to improve their life in a given way. We're just saying, we're just really having a conversation about what we've read and what we think we may be able to apply and that may work for people like us. Yeah. And if people if there is people like us, as we keep saying, that sort of look are looking for the same things in their life and have the same sort of attitude and perspective that they think that they might find that useful, then that's cool. But it's their journey. Absolutely. Yeah. Next question. This is a very important question um, and something that people may notice is that in the background, there may be a lot of background noise, specifically a car. <laughs> Um, which leads to the next question, which is, it's very poignant that I'm asking you, Ash, given, given um, the circumstances, and that what format can people expect from this podcast? What, what's the length? What are they going to hear? What style is it going to be in? Mm -hmm. Well, um, as you mentioned earlier, we, were, we are probably setting the bar pretty high with wanting to create almost daily content. We're not going to say daily, but we're going to yeah. give it our a best um, shot to do almost daily. I like almost daily. <laughs> it's adequately ambiguous to use <laughs> yeah. alliteration. And the reason that we feel almost daily is achievable for us is because we are actually recording this on our morning commute to the city where we both work. So um, every day we travel about 20 kilometers into the city from where we live. However, due to uh, Sydney traffic and infrastructure, 20 kilometers can turn into 45 minutes to an hour. 
So it's a, it's a nice 45 minutes an hour <laughs> when it's with you. And I'm in the driver's seat uh, because I drop Matt off first. That works out better for us in our um, respective journeys. And then I will pick him up on the way home. So Best time of the day. <laughs> so if any um, beeps or cuss words occur during the course of this podcast, <laughs> it's because someone has likely cut me off in the traffic. But I'll do my best to keep it PG. Well, we haven't worked out whether this podcast is going to require an explicit rating because it either, <laughs> apparently, I was reading about in Podcast World that it's either you have swearing or you don't. You yeah. either make it well, good for well, everyone or you specify that it's explicit. So I suppose, yeah, this is, it, that's another little journey we're going on. Not only the one to work, but finding out whether. Whether, <laughs> whether this is going to need an explicit rating due to the due to Ashy's well not Ashy's driving probably other people's driving. Yes, my reacting. But um, in and then to dig a little deeper then into the type of um, format we're going to have, it's really just conversational. Yeah. Um, and I I personally like to start my day with a good audio book or. Um, reading something interesting or uh, listening to a podcast, I find that a really good start to my day. So I think a lot of it's probably going to be conversations around what I've been reading, what I've been learning about in the morning, and um, what Ashley thinks. What Ashley thinks <laughs> about it, and then Matt, who is a wealth of information as it is, will I'm sure chime oh, in don't know about that. with lots of um, other knowledge or opinions that um, are helpful for me and hopefully the listeners in digging a little deeper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's 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 good. That that sounds perfect. But as as Ash said, you know, there will be a bit of structure despite it being an open, casual, candid conversation by the two of us. Um, hopefully we do have structure in that we do think about what we want our We do try to anchor any topics that come up in a way that we can package to, that people can take away little snippets, if you like, Mm -hmm. of knowledge. Um, We just don't really want to provide a podcast where people are listening to just our opinions. It's not really, it's not really interesting. We don't want to hear our, we're, we're not doing this to hear our own voices back later on leads to why are we doing this oh ash that was a good segue <laughs> um you're getting good at this already <laughs> we're only been 15 minutes in yeah. um why the big intrepid why mm-hmm. um yeah it's easy to answer how what where when who isn't it but um we're really doing this and because and I'll just share something with the audience. We've, this is probably the third time we tried to record this introductory yeah. episode. And so it, 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 which is helpful and in some ways, because I think this is flowing better than our previous ones. But um, you also feel that um, you said something in moments before that probably were the best thing to say. So I'm sitting here trying to remember what they were. Um, but the biggest thing is I think for as to why where we want to create a podcast like this is firstly to make the most of our morning commute Mm -hmm. it as you said it's a it's a trying thing to drive 20 kilometers in early morning sydney traffic and given ashy's prone to curse words you can (laughs) you can understand how stressful that can be um, which is important given that that's how you start your day and the ad- that can set the tone from how you walk into your office every morning, which isn't cool. And we, I, did, I we did find that having the radio on was amping us up yeah, a yeah, little good. too much. That's, that, that's a good point. Like we used to start the day with the radio on and we'd find that there was the same five songs mm-hmm. and the commercials and the change in the dynamic volumes that they have between Up and down. the songs and the commercials. Really, it was making us, stopping us from being able to talk to each other, which we love to do. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but it was just sort of I don't know it was causing us to be a zombie and to zone out and to go on our little ineffective trances about what the day might be like or yeah. all the crap that you might have to walk into when you got into the office and I thought and so what we did one day is one day we actually turned off the radio and we found that we started so that nice. day so, yeah that was amazing yeah. it was rather than just sitting there listening to you know the latest Taylor Swift song with you know no offense if you're a Taylor Swift fan but when they when you hear it about two times in your journey <laughs> it can get a bit crazy um, instead of hearing the same song and just kind of staring out into the window and or not getting e- all swept up in the celebrity gossip yeah that, that's the worst part <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we all found. The news. Yeah, it, all the news. Like, that's, yeah, it really, when you're able to contrast it with what we experienced, and that was sitting in the car and actually not having that take over our minds and being able to engage with each other mm-hmm. and talk to each other, uh, it really made the, it really, um, I don't know, lifted me. I don't know about you, de- took the stress away from the first part of that day and it. It I carried was just on. in a better headspace for the whole day. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. 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 And um, what that did, though, is I suppose the most important part of that is not only the psychological benefit that we had, but the fact that we we accidentally led to the idea for this podcast. Yeah. Because i started asking you questions about what what have you been listening to and what podcasts or audiobook had you started listening to that morning Mm -hmm. and you were sharing it with me and we were then able to discuss it discuss what you were learning and think about how we might be able to apply it in our lives individually and more importantly i think for us and this may may not be the case for everyone listening out there um is that we'll be able, we'll able to think about what each other had learned and what we knew as a couple. Yeah. Um, and I don't know about you, Ash, but I think that engagement that we were able to experience um, was what put us in a mindset for the rest of the day that was so... I don't imagine. I thought it was magical. I couldn't wait to see you. I couldn't. I couldn't wait for you to pick me up in the afternoon. So. Yeah. yeah I I found that morning just so much more of a sense of calm um, on the drive, and then that carried with me throughout the day because I hadn't, you know, started off a forty-five minute journey just listening to inflammatory news on the radio and, you know, ridiculous stories about what people in Hollywood are doing and then getting swept up and having, a, you know, having a, ne- needing an, to an wait. opinion. Yeah, yeah needing to critique down. it yeah, and judge someone that you don't right. even know. And, and I would catch myself and be thinking, you know, why are we even discussing what, I don't know, whatever Kardashian it was that had that baby, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And... And That's in a negative baby way day. too, like there just, just didn't seem to be any positivity um, or a positive effect that comes from from listening to that sort of stuff. So I found yeah. that I was in a much more positive mood when I actually got to the office, which was really nice. But um, mm. for me, and 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 Which is, I, I think it's do, awesome. Yeah, and, and yeah. not just because we turned the junk off, but because we then used the time to really connect with each other and... That's something yeah. that can, in this busy world, um, can sort of accidentally be forgotten to do with mm. couples and in relationships. So I thought it was, you know, I'm happy to never have the radio on again. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think for me the, the podcast and why I um, want to do it as well is for personal reasons. I think it'll be a really good creative outlet for me which is something that mm. I've for a long time felt is lacking in my life um, and yeah. then so I, I'm interested to see where that will take me and also I think that 
knowing that I'm really going to be need to um, discuss whatever it is that I've decided to consume that morning for um, for the content of the podcast. I think it's going to really help me in focusing even more on the information that's out there and learning and expanding my knowledge um, even more so than what I already try to do. Because sometimes yeah. I do find that I might be listening to a podcast, but then I'll um, flick on Instagram and before I know it, I'm having to rewind five minutes of the podcast because I've let myself get distracted by the news feed or whatever. So I think that yeah, this yeah. is something that's really going to help or assist me in um, being a bit more focused. Yeah, there's, that's interesting. And it, it sort of brings me to a thought that, in that there's so much information out there competing for your attention. Yeah. But it, I've realised it's not only competing for your attention, it's competing for your, your energy. And it's wanting to lure you down this negative path. Mm-hmm. And if you just sort of go along for the ride, then you can only sort of, it's like you can only get into that space where you become so insulated that your reaction to the world can only be one of critique or judgment or negativity. So it seems that what I, what I find interesting about us actively, we actively chose to turn off the radio, actively chose, which made it easy natural for us to engage with, with each other but mm. by blocking out all that all that noise if you like that's yeah. competing for our attention it just showed me that you have to actively want to maintain a mo- positive mindset you just can't just naturally have one without yeah. being being active about it yeah it's Absolutely. it's it's really interesting so i suppose to um to wrap up this podcast because we we want to keep them short Um, we've explored those four questions but I suppose lastly I'll bring it back to the beginning in terms of we haven't yet established what our tagline will be Um, but just so that the people our audience you know our mums I suppose (laughs) will will understand what this is all about um what, what are a few areas you think that, if we were to use it, select a key word to put in our little description of this podcast, or multiple keywords, you know, of areas that, you know, this podcast might be in, what, what might they be? Like, I, I thought maybe, you know, starting from self-help. Yeah. But where would, where would you go from there in terms of other categories? That... Oh, look, I think... Um self-help and self-development and all those sort of things are very broad um, yeah. and as is our interest in those things so I yeah. think that um, yes we could sit here and say self-help and self-development and mindfulness and all of that sort of stuff but um, I think it's really going to we're going to cover so much information from physical health to um, spirituality to relationships, um, entrepreneurship, wealth, um, biohacking, time management. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> personal effectiveness. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's um, such a wide spectrum of interest that we have in this area, and we're both really just so obsessed with learning. Yeah. Um, I think that the the list of tag words or keywords, <laughs> yeah, or whatever, it yeah, is, we'll would prob- just go forever. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, but I suppose ultimately what we want to do is provide people people some value. Yeah. Through our candid conversations, we don't want them to. We don't want this to be a stuffy stuffy like oh I'm the expert and this is what works so listen to my podcast and then I'll sign you up for my you know one thousand dollar course that you can pay in three easy payments um not that there's anything wrong with that where the information is effective and that person's got a track record I'm just saying that's that's not what this is about as you said before this is our 
personal therapy yeah. and our and hopefully our personal contribution to the world in a really tiny way. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, it's not a vanity project. Definitely not. Well, every everyone, I, I thank you if you've, you know, you're not our mums or close friends and you're you've listening in. <laughs> and you've made it this far, that's true. Um, we hope you enjoyed what you've heard today and we hope you're excited as we are um, for our our future episodes yeah. where we where we delve into a lot hopefully a lot of topics that um, not only interesting to you but where we can provide it provide some sort of tip advice or not advice but you know what I mean tip or nugget or snippet of information that you might be able to use to enhance your life yeah. so um, this is Matt and and I'm Matt and um, we hope you have a wonderful day like we intend to, mm-hmm. by lot, lot, not listening to the radio. God, it makes a difference. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Hi, this is Matt, and thank you for listening to another episode of The Content Couple. Ashi and I appreciate you, and appreciate that you have chosen to invest a small part of your day listening to our contribution to the podcast world. We love podcasts understand there are thousands and we are grateful you have chosen us. We believe nothing is more important than our time and yours and we hope that in sharing how we acquire and apply what we learn that you will take away something that will enrich your life. For Ashi and I this podcast is a leap out of our comfort zone and a change to our normal everyday life. Our aim is to share and contribute and we cannot do that without you. If you have enjoyed our experiment in self-awareness and self-esteem, we will be very grateful if you could quickly jump on iTunes, subscribe to our tribe, and give us that five-star ratings that will help other awesome people like you find us.